Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to discuss how can we recover a Siemens i7-1200 or 1500 PLC if we lost the password. The basic idea is we will use one Siemens Cinematic memory card. The size will be greater or equal to 2 megabyte size. And then we need to empty this card and plug this card into the controller and power up the controller and then this controller will be wiped out. This fit for the case if you have the original program but you lost or forgot the password. So that time if you try to download this controller, you have no way to online diagnostic this controller or download this controller anymore. But you have the original program, you just want to wipe out this controller and then download your project. This not fit for the case if you do not have the original program and you try to upload the controller. This not fit that case. All right, let me demonstrate how can we reset one CPU that CPU has a password. Okay, this is the Siemens i7-1200 CPU. For example, this controller, I set up the password. I set no access. Basically, that is a complete protection. And then I assume I forgot this controller. So that time if I try to download this controller, the system will pop up. I have to type in this password. The system will show this fault. Also, some people will try to go online. Once you try to go online with this controller, if we set no access, so this controller, there's no way to online this controller anymore. So the only way is we will use one empty memory card. So the basic idea is once this controller has an empty card, it will transfer the program or some setting inside this CPU, transfer all the setting and the program into this empty card, move all the setting and program into this empty card, and then this controller will be empty one. This is the key idea. So you need to use one SD memory card reader and plug in this Siemens Cinematic memory card into this reader and plug into your system, Windows system, and then delete all the file from this memory card and also transfer this card into a transfer mode. Okay, follow me. Once your system identifies this SD card, so we can browse. Take care here, we need to delete all the file inside this memory card. So select all and delete. Keep in mind, you cannot format this memory card. Once you format this memory card, basically this memory card will turn to a just a regular memory card. Siemens has a format inside, so you just need to delete all, but you cannot format that, okay? After we delete this memory card and then go back to the TI portal, from the left side, go down here, the card reader here, and your system will identify this memory card. And from here, you can right click, click this properties. And here, you need to select the card type. Now, I need to select the transfer. Okay, set up the transfer card type. That allows this card run as a transfer function once we plug this empty card into the controller. So the controller's program will transfer from the controller to this card. That controller will be wiped out. Okay. Now this is the empty card and that is the transfer card. Now we can unplug from our laptop and insert into this controller. Now if I try to go online with this controller, as we can see this controller still has a password. I have no way to download this controller if we forgot this uh, password. Okay, this is the CPU 1214 Siemens 1200 controller. Because it has a password, I have no way to download the program. So now, firstly, let's power down this controller. Okay, shut down the power. So the memory card, what I'm using, that is a semantic memory card, 24 megabyte. This style. Its article number is a 6EI7954, this series number. And let's plug in this card. And then power up. So 
So we can see this indicators. And this transfer process will be very fast. It depends on what the size of your program. Basically, once you see this controller change from run to stop, and this maintains flashing like this. Now we can shut down the controller. In the meantime, we will unplug this memory card. Okay, shut down. And then let's unplug this card. Okay. And let's power up. And because using this transfer card, so we transfer the program from this controller to the memory card. So now this CPU basically is an empty CPU. That's why once we power up this CPU, this CPU can now run. It's just at the stop mode. And now let's shift back to the TI portal. Let's click this uh, update, the online access. And we can see the CPU IP address is still in. We can still connect to this uh, CPU. But now if we browse this uh, program blocks, it shows nothing because this controller now is empty, totally empty. And now if we double click this online and then diagnostic, so we can see now we can go online with this CPU. And if we go to the memory, we can see totally is empty. That means now this CPU except this IP address, this controller is a wipeout. Now, if you have an original program, you can download to this controller and run this controller again. Keep in mind, your original program inside the CPU will be wiped out. So you need to make sure you have the program after you wipe out this CPU so you can download your project into this controller again. For example, now this CPU is an empty one. So I can download my program into this controller without any password anymore. So as we can see, basically this is the first time to download one empty CPU. So we need to download the hardware and program. And now we download our program. And in this test program, in the main program, and now this CPU is running our project now. So using this memory card, we can reset the CPU. Okay, let's quickly wrap up. To reset the Siemens S7-1200 or 1500 PLC, you need one Siemens memory card. And then you need to plug in the memory card and delete all the file inside the memory card. And then plug this transfer empty card into the controller. Power up the controller, basically wait a couple minutes, and then this CPU will be wiped out. This is the basic procedure. Okay, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.